Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the database and how to connect to the database using PHP and MySQL. Well, you don't have to know PHP and MySQL because I have taken care of everything. So you'll need to download this file from the description of my video. So just click on it and download it. And once you download it, follow me what I'm doing in my video. So you'll be able to create a database and you'll be able to connect to your database. Okay, so now open the cPanel. So here's cPanel and uh, here are the goals that I have. And if I scroll down, go over databases. So these are the options of the databases. So what I can do is simply I can click on my SQL database wizard. So right now I can simply create a database by typing the name of the database right here. So I can say, for example, visitors. All right, so let's say that there will be visitors who will visit me and I want to put their names. So I'm going to call it visitors and I'm going to click on next. So once you click on next, it will show you the second step. And this one is the database user. So right here, you will need to create a user for yourself. So now I'm going to call the username test. All right. And I'm going to put a simple password here and make sure you don't forget the username and the password. Then click on create user. Once you click on that, it will show you this page. And this is the privileges of that user. So I recommend you all click in on all privileges. So with this, you will be able to alter, create, and delete the content of your table. So make sure that you choose all privileges. The last step here is to click on next. And once you click on next, it will say user test was added to the database visitors. Step one is done. So now we are going to click on cPanel again. So now we are going to scroll down. We are going to click on PHP my admin. So once you click on it, it will open PHP my admin and you should see your database right here at the top left. So just one click on the database and right here, as you notice, you can create a table. So now I'm going to create a table called people. All right, I'll call it people. And the numbers of the columns that I'll have going to be three because I want the person to have an ID and the first name and last name. All right, that's it. So I'm going to click on create table. Then I'm going to click on go at the right side. So just one click on it and it will create a table for you. Then you should get these options. And right here, as you notice, we have three fields. So this is the first field. So I'm going to put ID here and it's going to be integer. All right, so keep it as integer. And I'm going to choose AI, which means auto increment. So once I choose AI, it will simply show me this and just click on go and it will be primary. So now it will automatically add, you know, numbers to people that I add. So this one will be the first name, first name. This one will not be an integer. This will be character varchar, and it's going to have a length of 25. So it doesn't exceed 25, all right? Then last name, then I'm going to change this to Varchar again. I'm going to change this to 25, and then I'm going to click on save, and it will save it just like that. And you know, it has ID, first name and last. So now what we can do is we can insert people to this table. So to do that, what you do is you click on insert right here, and now it will show you these options. So now, for example, this, let's say that we have three people. So this will be the first person. I'm not going to put an ID here. It will automatically put one there, but I'm going to put a name here. So Trevor Phillips, all right? So Trevor Phillips, I have there. So the second person is Nico Bellic. So Nico Bellic. All right. And I want one more person. So now I can simply click this to insert a new row. So to continue the insertion, move your mouse here and increase this. And it will show you more rows. So this is the third row. And I'm going to say Tonya Williams. All right. So we have three people here. And now we are going to simply click on go right here. So once you do that, as you notice, right here, it will show you that three rows were inserted. And now if we click on browse, we should see three people. So we have three people right here. All right. So now let's go to our code. So again, you can download this code 
from the description of my video. So now this is going to be host. You will just keep it as is localhost. Don't change the host. All right. This one says the username. You should put the username here. So I'm going to say test So the username called test and I had chosen a password. So, so I need to enter my password there. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six and the database name. So this is the database name. So let's look at it. The database name is visitors. When we created the database, we named it visitors. So I'm going to simply change this to visitors. So visitors, all right. So now if I save this and uh, if I scroll down, so this will simply select ID, first name, last name from people, all right. So this will do that in my database. I call it ID and first name, just like that, last name from people all right so it will select this from people i'm going to simply right here as you notice i have typed print results example and it says echo and a row just like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and paste it below it all right so now as you notice it says echo row just like that echo row id so this one will print the ID. So now I'm going to save and I'm going to simply op let me open the filezilla and I'm going to connect to my web. Okay, so I have connected to my website and I'm going to simply move my index right here. And I want to re replace this. So now if I view the page, as you notice, it says one, two, three. And as you notice, this is the information of the connection, but I'm going to have a break underneath it. So I'm going to say break here. All right. So this will take us to our new line. So I saved it. Now I'm going to update the file. Now refresh it. As you notice, I have three people in my table, but now I want to have the names of those people. So right below it, I can say echo dollar sign row, just like the other one and open to braces and type in two quotations and type in first name so this is how i typed the name of the input inside of the database i called it first name capitalized so save it and i'm going to update it now now if i refresh it as you notice it has printed out the names of the people but they they are not uh, organized so let's organize it so now after it prints the id it goes to the next line and prints the first name but this one i don't want the id but i want the first name and the last name so i'm going to copy this and paste it right here and i'm going to change this to last name so last so last name, save it, upload it. As you notice, it says Trevor Phillips, Nico Bellock, and Tony Wiggins. So this is how you can create a database and how you can connect to the database. So if you have any questions, please let me know below. And you can again download the file from the description of my video below. Thank you all and I will see you all later.